I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I take my bag and walk and walk to school and walk and walk to school. Hello my learner, I am teacher Jonathan and this is Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Welcome for our today's lesson in grade 4 science and technology on human body. In our previous lesson, we learned on how to take care of our teeth. And in pairs, can we remind ourselves what we said about taking care of our teeth? And we'll start with Tom. Tom, can you remind us? Thank you. We said when, how to take care of our teeth, we should use a brush, toothpaste, and a clean water. And in our song, we said when you wake up in the morning, make sure you brush your teeth before you go to school. That is correct. And you, Victoria, we said we should not eat sugary foods. That is correct, Victoria. We should not use sugary foods. Examples are sweets, biscuits, because they will affect our teeth. That's correct. And in our today's lesson, we will learn on how to model different types of teeth. How to model different types of teeth. John, can you remind us the types of teeth that we mentioned in our previous lesson? And we have them in our chart here. Can everybody look at this chart? We have the types of teeth. We have incisors, the first teeth, and we say they are always found in the front part of our mouth. We have the canines. They are just adjacent to the corners, immediately after the canines. We have the premolars. They follow the canines going to the back of our mouth. And then the last type is the premolars. The molars. the molars are the last types of teeth which are found to the end of our teeth. And we said the four last four teeth of molars are called wisdom because they will normally grow when we are big or grown out, grown up people. And we learn how to model these four types of teeth. And before we start, what do we need? What we need in our modeling? What we need to model different types of teeth? First, have your plasticine. And we said, if you cannot afford plasticine, you can come with clay soil. It is also good and used in modeling. And today, I have mine, the plasticine that we'll use in modeling. And you also, can you show yourself in your groups what you brought? Correct. Clay soil is also good. Then we also need a digital camera. Digital camera. Why do we need a digital camera? After we model our t uh, the types of teeth, we'll take photos, go and print them and mount in our portfolio. So the digital camera is very, very important. And in our case, because I didn't access digital camera, I brought my phone, it has a digital camera. So we'll, I'll use my phone to take photos of the types of teeth which I will model. In your case, after we model, because we'll continue modeling, when you go home, kindly request your parents to also take picture of the models which you'll model at home. And in our groups now, in our groups, kindly we'll start with our modeling. The first type of teeth. So everybody, can you take your clay or the plasticine that you have? Just take a pinch, a portion of the clay, a portion of the clay, a portion of the clay. And the first type of teeth, we said it is called canines. The incisors, sorry. The first type of teeth is called incisors. Then, how do we model incisors? We say they are flat and chisel shaped at the top. So, as we model our teeth, make sure the incisors, for it to qualify to be incisors, it should be flat, almost flat, and chisel shaped at the top. It should also have one root, the way you can see it here. So, as we model, as we model because we have our clay, you know, in my case, I've come with plasticine. We model this type of teeth. How do we go about it? Because I will want to see everybody 
doing the model, they are almost flat at the top. They are almost flat at the top. I can see you are doing good work. So kindly model the type of the T that we are saying. We call it the incisors. The incisors, we said it should be almost flat at the top with one root. You can also use your ruler to, to make sure it is almost flat at the top. If you want to make it almost flat at the top, but also with one root. Correct. This is, it resembles a canine. I have chose white color because remember our, white, our teeth are always white. Our teeth are white, so I came with a white color plasticine. So this resembles a what? A, an incisor. Teeth or tooth. Correct. That was type 1. I hope everybody has just modeled something of the sort. And this we call it an incisor. Can we clap for ourselves? Good work done, well done, well done. The next type of teeth or tooth is the canine. Remember the properties or the characteristics of a canine. How does a canine look like? It is almost sharp pointed at the top with one root. Almost sharp pointed at the top with one root. So as we model tooth number two, take note of that. And before I, we start the modeling of the second one, maybe I put a, a manila paper here, a colored one so that you can see properly our, our modeling work so allow me just to put that chart here so that it can enhance the visibility of ourselves so when i put this white tooth here you can see it very properly and we continue that is very nice so kindly take your model or the modeling clay the plasticine so that we can impact on tooth number two and our tooth two was Canine. canine. How does a canine look like? It is almost sharp at the top, but it is also with one root. So can we try to model this canine for ourselves? Almost sharp pointed. Almost sharp pointed. almost sharp pointed I can add more plasticine to enhance the strength of the root I've added more plasticine to enhance the root to be a bit stronger the teacher has just modeled my example i can see you are still doing good work in that modeling kindly help each other in your group you model the root the the, the root of the canine and the teacher has just finished modeling a canine as you can see it is almost sharp at this point as you all see but it is also as one root these are canine. Remember, we said it is very almost sharp. Why? To tear, to tear food, mostly flesh. We use the canine to tear it, but the incisor it's almost flat at the top, a chisel shaped size. Why is it chisel shaped? To enhance biting and cutting. That is correct. I've seen you have done good work. Thank you. Can we now go to the Tooth number three, the third type, we call it the premolar. Premolar has two roots. It has two roots. And it has ridges at the top. So as we make it, make sure it has ridges at the top. Ridges, we call them cassips. So make sure you model something of the sort. So can we go back to our modeling clay? Pick your clay again. We model 
the root number the the tooth number three that is the premolar how does a premolar look like how does a premolar make sure it has two roots make sure your premolar has two roots as you make it some of you i can see you are good at modeling more than i do but that is good Why are we doing the model? So that we can know how our teeth looks like. Remember the premolar, we said it is used for crushing, chewing. So it has to have cassips at the top, but with two roots. So let me input two roots at my canine at my premolar sorry it should have two roots the premolar should have two roots but with cassips at the top why have i just i've used my nails to just put the the cassips the ridges the work of the ridges is to enable to enhance refined grinding and chewing of the food so this almost resembles our canine our premolar sorry the premolar it has two roots as you can see what i've modeled it has two roots with cassips at the top or ridges at the top why because that is the shape so as we model we have to enhance the shaping of that tooth the way it should be and it of course it has two roots so i put it here for all of you to see as you also put yours at the table on the table and on your chairs correct work and good work that we are doing can we now go to the tooth number three four a molar tooth a molar tooth it is almost resembling the premolar but the difference is it has three roots almost resembling the premolar but with three roots so we'll model the primo the molar same alike as the premolar but the difference is it has three roots can we take our model our clay those who are with plasticine can you take your plasticine your clay we start modeling the tooth number four and we say the tooth number four it is the molar tooth with two with two roots with three roots with three roots so may let me just mind on make it again i can see you are cooperating well as you do your modeling you are doing great work thank you for being good learners good listeners cooperating well as you model the fourth type of tooth we have called it the the molar tooth we have said the molar tooth as cassips or ridges at the top They're like the premolar tooth but with what the difference is it has three roots so make sure as you model yours it has three roots as I model mine, make sure to put ridges also. In my case, I'm using my nail to put the ridges. Now, I had the third root. I have to add the third root so that it can resemble a molar the way it should be. That it can resemble a molar the way it should be. there we go there we go there we go these are resemblance of a molar tooth with how many roots one two three roots remember this has ridges at the top 
This is a resemblance of a molar tooth. And I place it here. Now class, we have modeled, or we have modeled the four types of teeth. Type, the first type, we called it incisors. The second type, we have called it canine. Why have we called this one incisors? Because it resembles the incisor that we have on our chart. It is top, it is flat at the top with one root. And why is it al almost flat at the top? Chisel shaped for cutting, for biting food, for cutting and biting food. The second type of tooth is the canine. Canine, we've said, is sharp pointed at the top, but with one root. Why is it sharp pointed? So that it can enhance tearing, tearing of flesh or food as we take in. And the third type of root of, of teeth is the premolar. Premolar, why are we calling it premolar? As you look at it, it has two roots with the ridges at the top. That is the premolar. The work of the tooth is to chew food, to chew food, to crush food. And then we have the fourth type of, root of, of tooth, which is the molar tooth. With Why is it a molar tooth? It has four or it has three roots three roots it is the fourth type of the tooth with ridges at the top to enhance grinding crushing chewing of food and those are the four types of our tooth then after that class as we finish we take a photo of our model why are we taking a photo of our model so that we can print them stick them in our portfolio for our good work that we have done. I've said because we don't have a digital camera, I'll use my phone as the digital camera device so that I can take the picture and go and print afterwards. So we take photo of the work that we have done. Correct. And now, as you can see in my phone, I have already printed, uh, I've just taken a photo of the four types of teeth. Let me show you, let me enhance it correctly so that you can see it correctly. As you can see now, these are the four types of tooth that we have modeled. So when I go to the cyber, I'll go and print it so that I can attach it. The same case applies to you. Now for the activity for us to do, when you go home, kindly remember to carry the clay with you, the remaining clay, go and model the same. Now you won't use the teacher's digital camera. Use your parent's camera. The parent will help you to print the, the, the pictures so that you can attach them in our portfolio or your portfolio for future reference on the types of teeth. Make sure to, to label the teeth. This is the incisor, canine, premolar, and molar. And that marks the end of our lesson. Have a nice time.